In the Mix is presented by California Pizza Kitchen. Visit them today at the Holiday Resort Hotel. Welcome back to In the Mix. She is one of the hardest working women in the media business. But KUAM's Chief Operating Officer Marie Calvo-Mange is letting MDOT take charge. Hey guys, my name's MDOT and today we're back with the lovely and beautiful KUAM's Marie Calvo-Mange. Typically, Marie is usually behind the camera, and today we have her in front of the camera. How do you feel today? Um, I'm ready to be critiqued because my, my makeup regimen is like one that it's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> oh, no. so. Okay, well, today's goal is we're going to be using some of Marie's own products and teaching her some little tips and tricks on how to create a quick and easy everyday makeup that she can do on her own and today she's actually going to be doing half of it on her own. I will be doing one side and then you will be doing the trying to recreate it on the other side. Are you ready? Ready. <laughs> okay, let's get started. So the first step to makeup application is usually skin prep. I like to say that your makeup only looks as good as the skin underneath. So I always like to apply a little moisturizer or primer before applying my makeup, which you have already done, right? Okay, and then the next step I do is I start with the brows. I start at the ends and fill in any sparse areas. and then I run it underneath your brow to make the eyebrows look a little bit more fresh. Next, I'm gonna take that same color on a little bit of a crease brush. The trick is if you hold the mirror and look down like into the mirror, that socket area, and then that's where you want to apply your eyeshadow. So you start from the outer corner because that's when you have the most product on your brush. And you want to apply it in the outer corner and gently do little windshield wiper movements back and forth into the crease. So next, what we are going to do is I'm going to actually move on to your face. And what I like to do with the concealer is sort of do this triangular shape. Go up. And the only reason is that we're gonna be using this concealer sort of as a base for your highlights. take your powder foundation you can go right over that concealer as well to set that quickly and then spread that all over the face Okay, so now to add a little bit of dimension and color into your face, we're gonna add a little bit of bronzer. I'm using Max Bayana Bronzing Powder. And I'm gonna take this big flush, fluffy brush also from MAC, and what I'm basically gonna be doing is doing a number three on the side of your face. And then this is your own highlight, actually. Um, but what I want to know is uh, what's going on with this brush? So this is my on-the-go brush, and I get teased about it from my daughter all the time because it's a pathetic little simple <laughs> brush. But to me, it works. Like, uh -huh. I don't know. 
And then where do you actually apply this product? I do this one along here, and then mm -hmm. I put a little bit of highlight, like, You above. put this above? Yeah, of the, this lighter one. Okay, you, right you, you're doing it right. Go, show me how you do it. I go characters, tease me. <laughs> I just need to, though, like... <laughs> Actually, it looks good on camera. Okay. <laughs> so it's not that. I'll take the highlighter with this Morphe brush, and then I'll apply that to the highest point. And then what I also like to do with this is take a little bit of that highlighter close and sweep it across your lid. And then take that blush and then smile and apply that only to the apples of your cheeks. Oh, yeah. See that little glow that when you turn? <laughs> you actually have some really good products here from Benefit. Their Real Mascara is amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and have you apply that to the top and bottom lashes. Mm -hmm. And the final step to this makeup application is a quick setting spray. This one is by Scandinavia. What this does, it helps make the, the makeup last a little bit longer and look a little bit fresher. Thanks guys for watching and thank you to Marie for having me. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks, Marie, and thanks, M. Dot. Stay tuned. Up next on In the Mix, Chris Barnett with another tulip recipe.